Hey, how we doing guys? This is Demon Driver back again with a incredibly important subject because we are, you know, we're building airliners here, A300. We got the uh, MD-80 starting out and <laughs> guys, wait until you see what I have in store in the coming months and years. We're going to be building incredible airliners together and even some uh, bombers and fighter jets, just great stuff. I'm not, I'm not only, um, you know, stuck to airliners. I'll do just about anything. So, let's talk about EDFs. We want to power our airliners. Well, how are we going to do that? We're going to do it with electric ducted fans, okay? And you've got varying sizes here. You've got your 68 to 70 millimeter. You got your 90 millimeter. Here's your 90 millimeter. And, uh, different brands and manufacturers. You've got two different types. You've got dynamically balanced that come from the factory that are balanced. That's HET, um, EPF supposedly from Hobby King. Let me talk, let's talk about the EPF, EPF Hobby EDF. This is about as rare these are as rare as hen's teeth right here, okay? You go to you go to Hobby King, United Hobbies, and out of stock. These are out of stock. $55 US, about $70 um, euros, 70 euros. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, oh. Very, very nice. Let's have a look at these. Yeah, baby. Very clean, very good looking EDF. It's metallic aluminum. Um, you get your motor. In this package, you get the motor, the EDF, metallic blades that are kind of set back. The motor is up forward. You have the um, you have the lead wires coming out of the brushless motor. They're coming forward. You have no mounting bracket on this sucker. This is a 70 millimeter. Puts out around two pounds, pound point seventy five to two pounds of thrust. It has a shroud on the back. This is for a three cell battery. They have another model which is a step up, slightly more powerful for a four cell. I wanted to get that, but of course, <laughs> it's out of stock. You know something go is good on our on uh, United Hobbies when it's always out of stock, and I got these suckers, and I got two of them. So, fifty-five dollars for these suckers. I think this was like forty-eight for the smaller one. They're both seventy millimeter, but one is slightly more powerful than the other. These are it's a metallic EDF blade, five-bladed EDF, very thin blades. Really, really beautiful, beautiful manufacturer. Um, these are made in Taiwan. Really nice. These I can't wait to have both these puppies power in the uh, the black bunny, the big bunny. That's gonna be hot. So EPF supposedly dynamically balanced. I don't know. If they're not balanced, I'm in a whole heap of trouble. Okay. So I like HET. Every one of my airliners that's flown my jet airliners has used. Um, HET EDFs. They come from the factory pre balanced. Let's take a look here. Here is the Boeing 707. Here's one of the 707's engine nacelles. Handmade engine nacelle with an HET Typhoon. I think it's called High. I get the company is High End Technology. This is the 707 with the 70 millimeter, two and a half to three pound of thrust EDF inside. It's not hard mounted yet, I just placed it in for effect. But that, two of these suckers are going to be made in the 707. Each one of these puts out about two and a half to three pounds of thrust with a good 50C to 90C battery. That's the other thing, you got to have the C count and the power to make these suckers move. If you want 40, 50,000 RPM, that's what you need. So, let's have a look. Let's have a little bit closer look of the HET 
EDF. This is the 70 millimeter HET EDF from Robert at EJF, uh, EJF Hobbies, Electric Jet Hobbies, Electric Jet Factory, excuse me, dot com in Nevada. I think they're in Nevada or Arizona. And um, this is a four bladed. And here's the beautiful thing about these EDFs. They come, you can buy the whole kit, the EDF, the motor, and the speed controller all together, and it's balanced. It is dynamically balanced from the factory, ready to rock. You put it in your plane, you're ready to go. Get the battery, the proper battery you need, and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about the speed controller, matching the speed controller with the battery, I mean with the motor, and with the... Th and balancing it, this thing is ready to rock out of the box. No doubt about it. This is it. this is the motor. I love them. You want that sound? Like, you know, you want that jet sound? This is what's going to give it to you. Now, of course, now I'm not trying to disrespect Wemotech or uh, Delta V or even the new, um, the new uh, E-Flight motors, the new E-Flight uh, 80 millimeters they use in the Habu. Those are great motors. Those are good motors. I've got nothing against them. It's just that I'm kind of uh, part and partial to these babies. I really like these. And of course, this is the 70 millimeter. I mean, this is the 90. This is the 70 millimeter HET. This is the 90. This puts out five pounds of thrust. Two of these were what uh, was going to power the Airbus A300 American Airlines that I built. Two of these suckers. They put out five pounds of thrust each. Okay. Um, one of these days, I'm going to build a Boeing 747, about nine to ten feet long. It's going to be powered by four of these suckers. And if I build a uh, ten or eleven foot A380, it's going to be powered by four of these. Now, here's a little trick I learned from a guy by the name of Sparky on RCGroups.com. You stick your speed controller back behind the brushless motor. All right, you keep it streamlined, you wrap it up, and it keeps it cool. It's back behind, if it's in an engine cowl. If this is stuck inside of a plane, you really shouldn't do that. But, you know, um, you got your engines in the engine cowl, and they're pretty close to the um, center of gravity. So you can put your ESC back behind your motor like this. So they, they get naturally cooled. It's a good way to do it. Um, dynamically balanced from the shop. Delta V, HET, Wemotech, and a couple other companies, they come right out of the box, balanced, ready to rock. You don't have to worry about it. Now, <laughs> you want to see the Saturn V 50 caliber freaking balls to the wall electric EDF? Ha <laughs> ha Take a look at this, baby. Hello. All right. This is a Byron fan. This is a Byron fan, guys. This is from an actual uh, Byron fan. This is a gas EDF. This is a this is a 4.9 inch, almost a 5 inch EDF. puts out about 10 to 12 pounds of thrust. All right, let's go, let me show you a little comparison in size between a 90 millimeter and uh, oh yeah, check that out. Yes, indeed. Look at that. Huh? Now that is, man, that's what I'm talking about. That's power right there, baby. That is raw power. Now, yeah, you want to, we'll, we'll take a step up from that. <laughs> you want to see a little bit something, a little bit bigger? Here. Here you go. Yeah, baby. Now we're talking. This is... The Hayoe 5 inch, 1, 5.25 millimeter, 127 millimeter, excuse me, 5 inch EDF right here. 12 pounds of thrust. 7 blades. Check this out. Look how big this is compared to... A 90 millimeter. Look at that. That's insane. That is absolute insanity. Absolute insanity. That that's this is just 
ridiculous. Now, one of the reasons I'm called F3H Demon is because I scratch built an F3H Demon jet fighter, naval jet fighter from the mid 50s, the precursor of the uh, F4 Phantom. And I've never, ma I haven't made it yet. It's going to be powered if I ever get the damn thing in the air by this. Now, of course, this hasn't been balanced, hasn't been strengthened yet. Um, I haven't, you know, a huge Scorpion motor stuck in this thing, and this thing will provide 12 pounds of thrust. Even higher with a 90C count battery, and it's going to take at least 32 to 40 volts to power this sucker. Heiwei from China, you can get this um, on United Hobbies, it's about 40 bucks, maybe 50 bucks now. Uh, incredible EDF, incredible power. If you were to build, if you wanted to build a 15 to 20 foot Airbus A380 handmade, if I were to build one, it would be powered by four of these suckers. Or a 20 foot long Boeing 747. Maybe not 20 feet long, but maybe 15 feet long, 747, 400, or um, 747.8, it would be powered by four of these suckers. Providing close to 50 pounds of thrust. Two of these is going to give you 24 pounds of thrust. That's insane. And they've been bench tested to that kind of thrust numbers. So you, we're really running the gambit here from really what you got. You got, you got small 50 millimeters that are much smaller than this. You can go to um, United Hobbies and buy them for a couple of bucks, and they're great for your little, you know, your little uh, RC planes, your little jets and things like that. They're great. And then you know, 70 millimeter, 90 millimeter, and then of course the big daddy. The 127 millimeter. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yep. Now, all right. Let's talk about EDF safety, guys. Big, big thing. All right. Your EDF. You're bench testing it. Okay. Never stand in front of it. Never stand beside it like that. Always on an angle. Be on an angle to it. So if the blades blow out, for whatever reason, you're not going to take the direct flak. You're on an angle. An angle on beh behind it on an angle, never in front of it. God forbid if the blade pops out at you, it's coming at you at 40,000 RPM. I've seen these things jump out of EDFs, and I've seen these things fail. It is scary. Okay, there's a guy, God, God bless him, I hope he's doing okay on rcgroups.com. And... Um, he was bench testing an EDF and it blew out and part of it hit his eye and I only I pray that he's doing better and his eye is doing good and uh, I have only but the highest hopes for the guy never stand in front of it when it's running never stand beside it always stand on an angle to it have it on an angle like that on angles never stand beside or in front an EDF bad move while it's running. If this has a failure, you're going there's a good chance you're going to catch it. These blades run at anywhere from 30 to 50,000 RPM. That's a lot of kinetic energy that's coming at you. Watch out. I'm not screwing around and I'm not kidding with you. Serious stuff. So, especially if you have metallic blades. <laughs> okay? Imagine these things flying through the air at 50,000 RPM coming at you. Now, of course, you have a metal housing, okay? But these things have been known to blow up. A defect, when you have the centripetal force that's running in these babies, when they're spinning, man, that's, power. that's just incredible power. So you really, again, you never want to see that. You never want to see that when it's running. You always want to be like that or like that. Okay, this is Demon Driver, and I am out of here. God bless, and happy modeling.